<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Look Up, the Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, her besties and worsties, and spills a little tea. Mm, it's so hot in the trees. <laughs> I keep acting even harder every time. Uh, she'll throw a little shade if she has to, or most importantly, she'll just tell us something that we don't know. Today, we are with, as you could have guessed, she's chunky yet funky. She's larger than charge, the one and only Latrice Royale. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Red, have you been having a good time today with Latrice, you said? Oh my goodness, my big sis is in the building, shaking it up. Hey girl! <laughs> <laughs> and shake it she does, yes. Uh, now Latrice, I know you know how to play this game. Let's do it. Take a deep breath. Look at her. Oh my ah, goodness, yo, right? That's, that's a good. Lot. That's lovely. I like this little, <laughs> that little get up, honey. It was your Hollis Lay sister? Yes, she was. I have grown to love Eureka. Let me tell you why. Um, she is just so transparent and, like, puts it all out there. Her feelings, her emotions, everything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so people get it so twisted, thinking that whatever they think, loud and blah. Heart of gold, and what you don't might not know is that throughout my through my crisis of like you know the f designers failing me, right? She was a sister. I went to her house, and bitch went in her closet and was just like, here, I got this for you, this for you. Take it, take this, take this. You need a jewelry kit, you need this. this. Make sure I had everything I needed best she could do and so like i thank my sister thank you i love her that's I love beautiful her. yes absolutely she's gotten a lot of heat this year uh, ridiculous you know she's misunderstood and like uh you know it's it's, it's okay she's really strong and um she's had a rough year and yes. um her mom passed and she's dealt with that she's been holding her family together working her ass off all through it smiling and meeting and greeting her fans around the world, so. Yeah. Okay, look at her. Ah! And then lose on. This is just like, oh my heart. Now, when you watched All Stars back up to the point where you watched, uh, <laughs> would you, you, did you see more emotion from Manila than you saw in real life? Did you see less? I mean, because we, we as the audience got the deep uh, feelings and you know all of that when she even had to consider yeah. whether she was going to eliminate you. It uh, it was the ugly cry moment of the season. It was so emotional. Um, it was so many layers of um, things that were like at stake. You know, the like she was trying to redeem herself she was trying to save me first and foremost she was like uh it, it was just a big it was an emotional moment and um yeah we both ugly cried and i definitely felt the love from her and um she was gutted she, she i can feel that she was gutted and heartbroken that she couldn't save me i wasn't worried about it i was okay you know what i mean i was okay either which way with the decision um but she took it really hard. She took it really, really hard. And seeing it back, I was just like, wow. And the girls told me when I came back, they were like, girl, <laughs> Manila melted down over you, girl. I was like, what, really? And I didn't know all what happened. Right. You know? And then I saw it, I was like, oh shit, okay. But there was a lot of layers to it, and I understand why, what was at stake for her and what she mm -hmm. was trying to do, and so. But that just goes to show, that's love and friendship. And then they try to spin it and make it look like I was happy when she left. Right. Come on, bitches, come get real with it. That, that doesn't even make sense. She made yeah. jokes and I laughed at it. Yeah. She's funny. When uh, when Naomi gave her the <laughs> quite brutal chop, what was your take? Now, you wanna know the tea? Yes, I <laughs> do! <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, you know you have the little deliberation. Yeah. Okay. Well, First of all, I didn't expect Manila to be in the bottom. I didn't know who was gonna be in the bottom with me, but I did not expect it to be Manila. But then I thought about it like, all oh, right, it's that episode. They have to put Latrilla in the bottom. Right, of course. We all, yeah. come on now. You've seen this You've before. Seen this shit happen. You lived it. You know it. So I'm like, all oh, right, this is that moment. And so um, 
But what I didn't know was that while I was gone, the girls had had a different experience of Manila than, of course, I had mm. because Manila's on my side. I love right, her. Yeah. And she loves me. And so um, I guess Monet didn't let go of the fact that Manila was going to send her home regardless, mm -hmm. regardless, you know, that was just the way it was going to go. And I guess Naomi didn't trust her either. There was a situation that happened, I guess, with them. And so, as, and I had saved Naomi the week before. So when I got back and we had sat down, the first thing that Naomi did was like, you have nothing to worry about. Um, you're fine. Uh, you had my back last week, you know, and I got you this week and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, oh, of course production wants you to do the whole crying, <laughs> yeah. begging thing. And so we had to do that for the camera. And then when Monet came over, she was like, girl, you have nothing to worry about. I, oh. I was like, wow. oh, okay. And so I'm just sitting there like, what had happened? She said, yeah, I don't forget. I'm petty. And I was just uh. like, oh. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a little bit of <laughs> tea on that. But tea, 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 tea. <laughs> Look at her. Ch -ch 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 what you want to do is not necessarily <laughs> what you got to do. Oh, my God. <laughs> she makes great TV. You want to know some real tea? Yes, I do. Let's see. Um, Picture it. Sicily. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were in Chicago. I was doing a gig. This is years ago. Uh. Um... I think maybe right after her season, right during her season. But we were in a cab together. We were on our way somewhere to go smoke something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know you're a woman, right? And she was like, Miss Thing, no, I like the fantasy. I know, la, la, la. Take it off, that girl. You're most happy when you're a woman. And I know this. You're, gonna, you're a woman. No, no, uh-uh. The boy's like the little. And here we are. Call me clairvoyant, but I knew she was a woman way before she wanted to admit it. So, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just glad she's living her truth now. Yes, as so. we all are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trees, thank you for being here, sweetie. Thank you so for having me. Uh, yeah. to have you back oh, where you reunion. belong. <laughs> exactly. Uh, thank you to beautiful Lady Red. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> And thanks to all of you for watching. Happy Pride, everyone. Remember, love each other, especially if you're LGBTQ or plus, okay? Uh, we'll see you next time on the Look at her. Hit it! <laughs>